Good afternoon. This is Anka Metcalf with TradeLaw.com, and today is Wednesday, June nineteenth, two thousand thirteen, and we're right ahead of the FOMC meeting. Let's take a look at the dollar yen, as this is going to be our one of our favorite currency pairs to trade after the FOMC announcement. Uh, that is about to happen in approximately an hour and a half. Okay, so let's look at some technical levels in the dollar yen. So if we get an, a rate hike, dollar yen can potentially retrace lower. So let's look at the technical levels. So far, we have a lot of resistance that has developed into the 95.80 area, right here where my cursor is. And then we have support that is formed at 93.76. So this is the basic area that we're going to be focusing on. And let's look at the daily chart to see where our future projection for lower, if we're going to get a rate hike, uh, this currency pair have odds of retracing too. So we're looking for a retracement into the 92.86 area, and we're even looking for a much steeper retracement into the 92 area. Okay, so right about where this pivot is so this is the support area and 91 so this is a much much steeper retracement so i'm gonna put um a reminder right here right at 91 level so in case the rate remains unchanged this currency pair dollar yen has the potential to go higher so if you want to if you want to go higher you can take it long but only over 95.80. And then again, for short-term traders, make sure that you wait for the price to stabilize. We expect a lot of volatility to come in at about two o'clock to 2.30. So make sure you place your stop underneath the pivot that will be formed in case we get a positive price action. And if the price is gonna trade over 95.80. In this case, if we're not gonna get a fluctuation down below 94.80, then this is going to be our stop for higher. So again, so uh, again, this is gonna be our stop for higher. For long-term traders, make sure you place a larger stop so you're gonna stay in the game longer although you're going to get probably a lot of fluctuations. So 93.75 is going to be the support area and make sure you look for it not to be breached during the FOMC meeting. And again, if it will be breached, make sure you place your stop below the pivot that will be formed after the first, second or third wave if they should occur. For long-term traders, uh, as well as for short-term traders, uh, the first target that you're going to be looking at is going to be around 96.80, so around this area. So this is your first target that you're going to be looking at. For longer-term traders, you should be looking for a target around 99 and 99.20. These are, these are the projections for the dollar yen currency pair. Um, we're expecting the meeting to uh, take place less than an hour and 10 minutes. So until then, uh, these were the updates for the dollar yen currency pair and uh, trade bias. Thank you so much for listening and hope to see you next time.